Hey, Tiger fans, Ben Rosenbaum here on Towson Lacrosse Media Day. I'm joined by women's head coach Sonia LaMonica. Coach, you've been able to get the girls out on the field a little bit. What's been your impression so far in practice? Through fall, um, it's been a great fall. We've, um, you know, had fun kind of learning who we are this season, what we're working with, um, and seeing the, uh, the new dynamics that um, take place whenever you start a new year. So the fall was, um, you know, in my mind, uh, gave us a good idea of the direction that we're moving in, um, seeing certain players sort of stepping up um, and, uh, you know, starting to um, put those pieces together so that we can put together a great, great team this year and um, have a successful spring season. The last few years you've had a really impactful freshman class. Is there anyone who stands out to you in this up incoming freshman class that could have a similar role and similar impact? Sure. Um, you know, I think we've got a number of girls that will see the field, but one in particular would be Carly Tellercamp. Um, you know, she's from Hop Hog, uh, Long Island, New York. So um, she has just made such an impact had a great fall campaign. Um, her 6'2 size um, makes her easy to, to find out on the field, but, but also because she's a very skilled player. Um, and she plays attack for us and um, you know she uses her size well. She's got great hands and she's a very strong finisher. And um, I'm really excited to, to sort of see her progress, see how she, um, uh, enjoys being out, you know, once the, the game start up, falls one thing, springs another. But I think she's ready and she'll handle the, um, you know, that level of intensity that raises once we get into, into games. So she'll be one to, to keep your eyes on. You said goodbye to goaltender Kelsey Donnelly last year. Do you have any idea who the goaltender will be this year? And if not, what are you looking for from your goalies right now to make that decision? Yeah, look, we've got um, we've got options with our goalies, and yes, we're going to be making some hard decisions here in the near future. Um, you know, we're looking for um, our goalies, our leader of our defense, to really step up and take charge, to own that role um, as any good goalie needs to do. So, communicating um, effectively is um, you know critical to having success, um, and you know that work ethic. Um, is obviously important at the end of the day, saving the ball and taking care of it um, in the clearing game. Coming into last season, you had won three straight CAA titles. Obviously, the year doesn't end in a similar fashion. You had players on that team that had only experienced winning CAA titles. Do you think that could add something for them now that they've tasted defeat and then you had your freshman class last year who got so close but couldn't quite finish a job? Is that going to add any motivation to this year? Oh, sure. I mean, I think for any athlete um, who's competitive, you know, that doesn't sit well for you and you do use it as motivation because you want to um, be your best. You want to be uh, playing with the best and, you know, you want to have success, especially when you've had a taste of it before. Um, I think, yes, our freshmen um, from last season going into so their sophomore campaign here, I think, um, you know, they've, they've really come into a Towson era ta of Towson women's lacrosse where um, we expect nothing but um, success. And, you know, we are extremely disappointed um, to come up short in some key games and we don't care who it's against. Um, we're not getting um, giddy over almost beating a top ranked opponent. You know, we expect to um, compete and gun out for anybody who, who we face this season. So um, I think our, our returning sophomores, you know, they, they understand that mentality and, um, and, and, you know, that's the culture of, of our entire team. And I think, you know, our seniors and, and juniors too, you know, they, they get it because they know where we've been with conference play. And, um, you know, we, we want to compete and we want to win the day. That's our motto, win the day. And um, that means we're not looking too far ahead. We're not looking too much to the past. We're going to learn from those experiences, but we're focused on the next play, the next moment, being the best we are and we can be today. Coach, thanks for joining us and good luck this year. Thanks, Ben. Thanks for having me. So keep it right here on Towson Sports Network. I'm going to throw it over to Ian Jett, who's with two members of Towson Women's Lacrosse Team. Thanks, Ben. I'm here with Emily Gillingham and Caitlin Matalabano, two members of the CAA All-Rookie Team of the Women's Lacrosse Team. And Emily, you played with the Canada team in the 2015 Summer U19 Championship. You led that team to the gold medal game. Just tell me 
a little bit about that and how that's helped you prepare for this season? Um, it definitely made me more confident. I'm really excited for this year. I have that under my belt, so I'm sure with the team I have, like we're going to take it to them, and I'm really excited for it. Have you brought any of that and helped your teammates? I definitely feel more confident out there. Um, I like now when I go out there on the field, I just think I'm playing that U.S team again and I just want to beat them so I'm out there I'm trying to take their heads off and that's just how I go at them. And Caitlin you scored 18 goals uh, last season um, an outstanding freshman season have you came into this off season with having a, a season under your belt and kind of prepared differently? Um, yeah I mean I've been training like really hard and my coaches and our strength conditioning coach Kylie has um, really prepared us well the whole team for the season and I'm definitely very confident and um, yeah I'm just ready to get after it with my teammates for a great season. Is there one team goal you guys are working on uh, for this season? Yeah um, our team goal is pretty much to win the day like that's our team goal and um, just to get after it every single day on and off the field um, on the field we want to just work our hardest with the running with um, our mental game and um, just all being like a great like group of sisters pretty much we all want to be really close and feel comfortable together and off the field just um, in the classroom we all want to like keep up our grades and yeah so we just want to win the day <laughs> yeah definitely win the, win the day is our motto for this year and that's both um, mentally and physically is our main uh, priorities and as long as we can keep that up um, I'm sure we can finish every day with saying that we won that day and as long as we focus on that I'm sure it's gonna be a really awesome days thank you two for joining me I'm now I'm gonna send it over to Jaylene James with Nadia Poto and Brianna Ham. Thanks, Ian. I'm here with senior captains Nadia Poto and Brianna Ham. Last season, you fell short against JMU in the CAA championship. What expectations does Coach LaMonica have going into this season? Um, I would definitely say that losing to JMU was a huge motivation for not only our team, but the coaches as well putting it on us. And it's been the main driving force for this fall, and we hope to come out with a CAA title this year. Last season, you fell short against some of your tougher opponents, number one, Maryland, number two, North Carolina, Penn, James Madison. This season, you faced Jacksonville and Florida for the first time in program history, and both of those teams advanced to the NCAA tournament. How are you expecting to lead your team against those tougher matchups and to avenge some of those losses? I think it'll be exciting to be able to play um, some new teams that we haven't played before, and I think it'll be motivation to um, kind of win the, like win the games for the first time since we're facing them for the first time. Brianna, last season you had over 50 draw controls in one season, and you're ranked fifth in program history with 123 draw controls. How are you planning to carry that momentum into this season? Um, I hope that we can continue getting as many draw controls as we can. Um, obviously, draw controls are a huge part of the game. We don't have the ball in the beginning unless we get the draw control. So as a unit, midfielders, attackers, defenders, we're all working hard to get the draw. It's not just focused on one per person. Nadia, you're out last season as a medical redshirt. What have you been doing in the offseason to prepare for this season and to contribute back to that Tigers defense? Um, I've been working hard with our trainer, Tara, and our strength trainer, Kylie, to get me back um, to where I need to be. And also, um, being out, I was able to watch a lot, which I think helped be able to learn a lot more to be able to contribute to our defense. All right, thank you for your time, ladies. Good luck this season. Thank you.